Tonight, a courtroom surprise for President Biden's son, Hunter, who was widely expected to walk out of a court today with most of his legal troubles behind him. Instead, the younger Biden saw his plea arrangement with the government over tax charges crumble when the judge challenged some of the terms of the deal, including a constitutional question, telling the two sides she cannot accept or reject the plea agreement. The upshot, instead of pleading guilty to failing to pay his taxes for two years, as the arrangement called for, Hunter Biden pled not guilty to the charges. The two sides ordered to provide the court with more information. Hunter Biden has been a frequent target of President Biden's political adversaries, with many calling the Hunter plea agreement a sweetheart deal. Ryan Nobles has details. Hunter Biden entered a federal courthouse today hoping to bring to an end his legal problems. It did not turn out that way. Tonight, in a stunning move, a federal judge refusing to sign off on his controversial plea deal. Judge Mary Ellen Norieka, a Trump appointee, saying the agreement contained atypical provisions and she needed more information. Telling the lawyers, quote, I am not in a position to accept or reject this plea agreement, so I'm going to defer it. At one point, as the deal was unraveling, Biden's attorney declaring, quote, we'll rip it up, while prosecutors revealing their investigation into Hunter Biden is ongoing, and the deal would only absolve Hunter of legal issues between 2014 and 2019, and only on drugs, taxes, and firearms charges. Hunter Biden today pleading not guilty to the tax charges. The delay in the case, a further political headache for the White House. This case was handled independently, as all of you know by the Justice Department under the leadership of a prosecutor appointed by the former president, President Trump. The original plea agreement sparking outrage from Republicans, blasting it as a sweetheart deal for the president's son, which allowed him to avoid prison time. The attorney general has said that U.S. Attorney David Weiss has full authority to bring whatever charges he wanted. But two IRS investigators turned whistleblowers recently told Congress that was not true. It appeared to me, based on what I experienced, that the U.S. attorney in Delaware in our investigation was constantly hamstrung, limited, and marginalized by DOJ officials, as well as other U.S. attorneys. Meanwhile, Hunter Biden's foreign business dealings at the center of House Republicans' growing investigations into the president that could lead to an impeachment inquiry. Impeachment inquiry is allowing Congress to get the information. The president has repeatedly denied he spoke to his son about his businesses. So far, the GOP providing no evidence of wrongdoing. And Hunter Biden also at the center of another controversy, with President Biden facing criticism for not publicly acknowledging his seventh grandchild, Hunter's daughter. I have six grandchildren, and I'm crazy about them. Hunter Biden and the child's mother recently concluded a legal dispute. The White House has declined to discuss the issue. So, Ryan, let's circle back to that surprising court hearing today. What happens now in all this? Well, the judge has given the two sides 30 days to work out an agreement that would satisfy her concerns. And this comes as the U.S. attorney, David Weiss, who has disputed the claims of those IRS whistleblowers, has offered to testify in front of Congress later this fall. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.